All new at 6, Healing and the Holocaust, a worldwide Remembrance Day begins on Sunday. But tonight we have one man's mission to help music soothe the soul. As Detroit's Jewish community prepares to observe that somber day, a local composer hopes his works help heal wounds of the Holocaust. 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi shows us how a world premiere here in Detroit aims to do just that. It's not always the loudest voice that gets your attention. You feel it? Feel it? But don't ignore Jerry Blackstone's booming direction. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel every note, feel every one of them. The conductor's forte is to simply get his choir to... Connect, 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 connect. And the connection for many at Adat Shalom Synagogue leaps right off the page. I believe is the first complete musical liturgy dedicated to Holocaust Remembrance Day known as Yom HaShoah. It literally raised the hair on my arms. And if you listen closely, you'll hear the heart of the work's composer, a man who noticed the lack of music for this powerful day on the Jewish calendar. Cantor Dan Gross found his muse through the life of his grandmother, Masha, blessed to survive the Holocaust, cursed to grieve what it took from her. She was the only survivor of her immediate family. Eight brothers and, her eight brothers and sisters and her parents were, were all murdered at a, a death camp. The least I could do was dedicate this piece in her memory and, in her, and to the family that I never got a chance to know. When I think of the Holocaust, I think of how many more children there would be in the world. The Holocaust was a, was a sad thing, but it was also important because we need to know how to prevent it in the future. If melody is meant for the ear, harmony has its place in the soul. And it may be why the most meaningful voices are ones that know how to listen. In Farmington Hills, Andy Choi, 7 Action News. That is just absolutely moving. Yeah. Beautiful. This year's Holocaust Remembrance Day begins Sunday evening, April 7th, and lasts through Monday. The night the choir is set to perform at Detroit's Orchestra Hall. Now, the sold-out show is going to air live, by the way, at 4 p.m. on Detroit Public Television.